Welcome to Wuhan. Whether you are a local or a visitor looking to make the most of your travel visa, Wuhan has something for everyone. Join us on this exhilarating journey through a city bursting with hues as colorful as its history. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, nice hi. to meet you. Welcome. Wow, welcome our new friend, Chen Zijun from the Changjian International Communication Center. Thank you for meeting us here. Yes. Oh, I'm also very pleased. Uh, so you are expecting the visit in Wuhan now? We are so excited to be here. Uh, but no one can help you enjoy your time in Wuhan more than the people of Wuhan. Yes, a local suggestion, always the best suggestion. <laughs> so here. Wow, look at this. That this is beautiful. beautiful. This is Wuhan. <laughs> yeah. Well, what can we see in this painting? <laughs> here in Wuhan, each street is a canvas painted with strokes of tradition and modernity, creating a masterpiece of cultural fusion. Do you want to join? Absolutely. We would love to. <laughs> okay. okay. Excellent. Welcome. This is one of China's most iconic landmarks, the Yellow Crane Tower in Wuhan. Perched majestically on the banks of the Yangtze River, it has stood the ebb and flow of history. And here we are, look what I found. Wow. Well, when the Yellow Crane Tower was first built, I'm not really sure the architects envisioned it in ice cream form. Well, it's been immortalized in paintings and poems, so why not ice cream? Why not ice cream? Indeed. Now, why don't we find some people to see if they know any poems about the Yellow Crane Tower? Oh, they must do. Let's go. Let's go. Xi 长江万里情，黄色自和气，岁有游人处，把酒内滔滔，新潮逐浪高。from poets seeking inspiration to travelers looking for adventure, the Yellow Crane Tower has been a beacon for generations. So whether you're a history buff or just a curious traveler, make sure to add the Yellow Crane Tower to your bucket list. I love seeing Wuhan from the heights. Well, it's a good job the Sky Rail is next on our list. Let's go. The sky-high marvels of Wuhan don't end at the Yellow Crane Tower. This vibrant city is also at the forefront of modern development, which includes transportation. Come have a look right up front of this driverless suspended monorail. Super cool. It runs over 10 kilometers and it can travel at a maximum speed of 60 kilometers and it can take people to different scenic spots outside the city. But the sky rail is more than just a good view. It also sports some eco-friendly features. One of them being noise buffers, keeping the rail from disrupting residents and wildlife. So this is my first time on a sky rail and I've got to say, I'm very impressed. I'd recommend if you're coming to Wuhan, get on the sky rail. Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that we're done with our sky-high adventure, it's time to get back into the city. And for that, we're taking one of Wuhan's driverless cars. You know, we've seen many driverless vehicle zones in China, but what makes this one especially unique is that we're driving over the Yangtze River right now. How cool is that? This car is up to like freeway speed. And, and so it is a little different. That makes it a little more exciting, which is very cool. I know it just shows you just how far the technology has advanced. And right now on the screen, I can see how many cars are in front at the side, which cars are coming up from the rear. It's, uh, this is the future, isn't it? The future is now. What's our next stop?
Wuhan is one of the three meccas in the world to view cherry blossoms, and Cherry Avenue at Wuhan University is arguably one of the most beautiful streets and one of the most beautiful campuses to see these famous flowers. Of the 300 species of cherry trees in the world, 120 of them can be found in 160 scenic spots scattered across the city. Without a doubt, cherry season is one of the best times to visit Wuhan. Absolutely, and any great festival is about more than just the main attraction. It's also about celebrating ancient history with people dressing in hanfu, and it's about our modern cherry-themed goodies. Well, this has been a nice break. Shall we head over to Hubu Alley? I think that's a great idea. Yes. Wuhan's Hubu Alley is famous for its breakfast foods. But don't worry, you can enjoy these iconic dishes at just about any time of the day. This food street has been around since the Ming Dynasty, almost 400 years. Wow. They've had plenty of time to perfect the art of breakfast, or guozha. Shall we try it out? I'm excited, let's go. Let's go. where do you come from? I was in England. England? Yes. America. America. You know, I've had so much wonderful food. Mm, uh, maybe we should go back to the park then and see the progress they've made on the Wuhan art. I think that's a great idea. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Here's a surprise. Oh. See? It's beautiful. <laughs> that came out so well. And all the recommendations from our little tour guides, they were perfect. Yeah. Suitable locations to visit. Yeah. And I hope your experience inspires more brands to come and visit. Oh yeah, Wuhan's a great place to spend if you've got some free time. Absolutely. Happy to hear that. Yes, and we are happy that you joined us today. Thank <laughs> you and goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>